The visit of cruise ships each year ferrying tourists creates jobs in the province. International tourists are expected to spend an average of 10,600 rand prior to arrival and 8,600 rand once they arrive. I think it bodes very well. I think with COVID, it's something that we have to truly live with now. Um, whether there's a spike or whether there's a lull, for the African economy to grow with tourism, we need to keep coming by, cru by cruise, by plane and enjoy. I've got friends here. So my friend lives in uh, George on the garden route. And uh, I know this is a great time of year to visit Cape Town. So here I am. This is my first time in South Africa and um, it's definitely one of my favourite places that I've ever been. We've only been here for two days so far, but uh, particularly the local people are so welcoming, uh, much more than many other places. The city of Cape Town says apart from the spike in cruise ships, a new tourism venture called Air Access Programme will see 191 international flights landing per week. I like to think of Cape Town as a triple A rated city. This is a term normally used for credit ratings or prime real estate. But in this instance, I mean three things when it comes to Cape Town. Accommodation, attractions and aviation. In all three categories, we are recording fantastic recovery numbers of more than 80%. This translates to 7.9 billion rand being generated in tourism spend per annum for the local economy. Authorities say cruise tourism forms part of the city of Cape Town tourism development framework. Mlamli Maneli, SABC News, Cape Town.